Juggling multiple bills and your family and your relationship and your career and your social life can be exhausting. If you've fallen behind on tracking your monthly bills, stick around. I have an easy four step process to get you back on track and stick around to the end because I'm going to show you exactly how to systematize this automatically. Hi guys, welcome back to the Quicken YouTube channel. I'm your host, Justine. I'm a personal finance educator and enthusiast, and we're gonna be talking about tracking your monthly bills. Let's face it, we have a lot perhaps some that you have forgotten about. And so an easy way to start tracking this is to just break it down into multiple steps, starting with step one, which is listing out all of your known bills, either on a sheet of paper or on an online document. And don't forget about any bills that might be on an annual basis or maybe something that you pay biannually or every other month. For example, you might pay your car insurance premium every six months instead of every month, but that's still a bill that you wanna keep track of. Next, in step two, you are going to write down all your upcoming due dates next to each bill. Then in step three, you're going to write down the amount due for each bill. Now, if you have debt payments, make sure you are writing down the minimum amount due every single month for now. Lastly, in step four, you're going to plug in the due dates and the amount due inside of your calendar, whether that is a physical planner, your online calendar, or on your phone, you wanna make sure that you are notified of those bills right away. Now, I know this can be a tedious process of manually having to find and track every single monthly bill, but I do have a faster way for you to systematize this and automate this so that you never miss a surprise bill. Now, you can use the Quick and Simplify app that's going to automatically pull over any of those recurring bills inside of your accounts and start linking them to an online calendar. I'll show you what that looks like on the inside. What's great about Simplify is that you can access your budget and your bills either for from your desktop or from your phone. So this is the desktop version. And all I did was I hovered over the left-hand menu and I went to bills and payments, and then I went to all recurring, and then I clicked on bills. And now you can see a list of all the recurring bills that I have located inside of my accounts. Then I can click into any of these and see exactly what that looks like over time. Next, I can highlight the overview tab, and then I can quickly see at a glance exactly when some of these bills are being pulled out of my account inside of the month, which I love. This exactly gives me the exact information that I need so that I can see how my paychecks are lining up against all of my different bills that I might have, such as Netflix coming out on the 9th, whereas my gas and electricity bills are coming out towards the end of the month. It gives me a better sense of what paychecks are going to cover which bills. So inside of your app on your phone, you're just going to click that hamburger menu, click bills and pay payments, and then you're going to see an overview of all your bills. And what I like about this is it already shows what bills I've paid and then what bills are upcoming. So if I click on Southern California Gas, this is my gas company. And what I love about this is it actually can connect straight to the biller so that I can get my most recent bill information. So all I have to do is click connect and then either locate it by the company name or by the website. And already I can see SoCal Gas right there. You log in with your username and password, and then it automatically connects your biller. Setting up a customized alerts and notifications helps you stay on track of any surprise bills or any upcoming bills that you wanna take note of. So I'd love to know in the comments, how are you tracking your bills? Do you have a system that keeps you consistent? I'd love to share more ideas. And if you wanna automate this, check out the Quick and Simplify budgeting app. We will leave a link for you to test ride that down below. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. We'll catch you in the next one.